next on The Young and the Restless. What the hell are you doing on a chief's computer? Nikki. You okay? Actually, no. There's been a severe car accident, and the valet said the car was driven by a party guest. Where's your mother? I don't know. Who's up for a little James Bond action? Let's do it. Is pure genius. There's always an answer, we just need to find it. Quick, punch me in the nose. Finally. All of us. Or Scorpion. Scorpion, CBS Monday, 9, 8 Central. Next at noon, we are following breaking news. The wreckage of a small plane crash has been found where it was located. And dozens of people sickened across the country, including California. The culprit linked to a cluster of recent salmonella cases. It's your last chance to save during the Toyota Time Memorial Day sales event. Hurry, it all ends Tuesday. Don't miss 0% APR for 60 months plus $2,000 bonus cash now on a new Prius. Toyota, let's go places. Every day you think about what a diploma in nursing could do for you. So stop thinking and start doing. Kaplan College could be where you begin your program in nursing. Whether you're just starting out or already in a medical career. You want hands-on training and we have real medical labs. You want quality instruction and we offer limited class sizes taught by instructors with real world experience. Your new future with a diploma in nursing could start today. Call 800-617-0600 for your free career compass guide. Kaplan College, your career compass. It's your last chance to save during the Toyota Time Memorial Day sales event. Hurry, it all ends Tuesday. Time is running out to get 0% APR for 60 months on Camry or lease for $189 per month. Toyota, let's go places. Catch the legendary Charlie Daniels Band at the Nugget in Reno, June 13th. Getting answers from all across Northern California. This is the CBS 13 News at Noon. We're following breaking news out of Livermore, where the wreckage of a single-engine Cessna 210 has been found. A plane flying from Concord to the Reed Hillview Airport was reported overdue yesterday. Silva Air Patrol pilots discovered this wreckage near Livermore this morning. The FAA and the NTSB are investigating that crash. And we're also following breaking news out of Loomis, where a car crashed into a local business. This is happening at the Loomis family barber shop on the 36th block of Taylor Road. Investigators say that there is minimal damage to the building. The shop has been evacuated. Building inspectors are there making sure it's safe. Ahead of Memorial Day weekend, the Bureau of Reclamation is opening the Delta Cross Channel gates. Yeah, two gates will now stay open through the weekend. Good afternoon. I'm Audrey Assistio. New at noon, a CBS 13 Sean Bennett joins us along River Road in Walnut Grove with the process involved. Well, the day has finally come. The gates are open and boats can come and go as they please. The Bureau of Reclamation opened the Delta Cross Channel gates today to allow for boat traffic during the Memorial Day weekend. Now, the gates are scheduled to close on Tuesday at 9 a.m. The Delta Cross Channel gates control the diversion channel near Walnut Grove, which is about 30 miles south of Sacramento. When the gates are open, fresh water is drawn from the Sacramento River into the interior of the Sacramento San Joaquin Delta through Snodgrass Slough and the McCullumy River. And here's the excitement now that the gates are open. It's great for business because it opens up, it gives them launching over there, and they can come through the locks and go up and down the Sacramento River. It helps all the businesses out out here. But I know all the others, the smaller boats, the ski boaters and stuff, they make it up to the meadows. I think it's wonderful. Then Wimpy's will get some a little more action for the weekend and so forth like that. I think that's great when the locks are open. When we had a little smaller vessel, we would sneak through there, and it was a much shorter trip. So it's great that they're opening it. Boaters are advised to check the status of the gates. The gates opening and closing times are approximate since an operator must be present to perform the change. We're learning that it takes approximately a half an hour per gate to close on Tuesday. We'll send it back to you. All right, Sean, thanks so much. Now, when the gates are closed, they prevent juvenile salmon from being diverted from the migratory route along the Sacramento River in the interior delta. Okay, we do have breaking news out of Sacramento where a truck has struck a 
light rail train. This is happening at 7th and J Streets, and you are taking a look at the busy scene out there. The victim is in critical condition. Not too much information on this right now, but you can see a very busy scene out there. We, of course, will keep you updated as more information becomes available. Well, fire crews in Sacramento are investigating an apartment fire that sent one person to the hospital this morning. One unit was destroyed at the Parkwood Square apartments on Bluebird Lane. One neighbor wasn't even aware of the fire until neighbors came pounding on her door. I was awakened by a neighbor who lives right over here, and she was beating on my window, screaming, saying it was a big fire. Get out, get out. You only have a few minutes to get out. Now, the fire was contained to just one unit. The cause of the blaze is under investigation. Dozens of people coming together to honor the hostage killed in last year's Stockton bank robbery. Now, CBS 13's Kristen Marshall is in Stockton with a fundraiser underway and how Starbucks is helping out. Starbucks opens their doors for the first time today here at this new location. However, it's the same scene where tragedy unfolded just last July when this location was the Bank of the West and it ended in an armed robbery shootout taking the life of this woman, Misty Holtzing, one of the innocent victims involved in that tragedy. And now Starbucks is trying to turn that tragedy into honor and legacy by honoring Misty Holtzing. So for today only for their first day opening. They are going to be giving away her favorite drink. It's a chai tea latte in the hopes that their customers will instead go to Misty Holtzing's GoFundMe account and make a donation. I think that's really nice. I mean, it's, it might be kind of tragic for people to come here just because of the fact that what had happened here last year, but I think it's positive to make this a positive event rather than just a sad event. Donations from the GoFundMe account are going towards installing a new scoreboard at Oak Park. It's a local community Park in central Stockton, not too far from this Starbucks location. Their goal was to raise about $5,000, and they've well surpassed that as of early this morning. Back to you. Hey, that sounds great, Kristen. Thank you. The California Highway Patrol is expected to release the results of its 13 month investigation into the deadly tour bus crash that killed several high school students. Ten people died, and 39 others were hurt April of last year when a tour bus crashed into a FedEx tractor trailer on I 5 in Orland. Dozens of students from high schools around Southern California were on their way to tour prospective colleges. A fugitive task force was able to track the prime suspect in a quadruple murder. The suspect was arrested late last night in Northeast Washington, D.C. CBS 13's Craig Boswell has more on this developing story. Law enforcement caught up with the prime suspect in a quadruple murder in Northeast Washington, D.C. Thursday night. 34-year-old Darren Dillon Went was traveling from a Maryland hotel with three other men and two women in a Chevy Cruze and a small moving van. We got to a situation where we could uh, successfully take him down and we did our standard practice vehicle pin maneuver and we were able to safely pin the vehicles, both vehicles, and, and, uh, and place them under arrest. The manhunt stretched from D.C. to New York. Wednesday, authorities had tracked Went to Brooklyn. We believe that he saw himself on the news when it was released and he, uh, he, he fled the area. So we just missed him by minutes. Went is due in court this afternoon. He's charged with first degree murder in the deaths of a family and housekeeper found after their D.C. mansion was set on fire. Police used DNA found on a pizza crust left at the house to link Went, an ex-convict, to the murders of Savas and Amy Savopoulos, their 10-year-old son Philip, and Veralicia Figueroa, their housekeeper. We do believe that there is a connection between this suspect in this case um, through the business. So right now it does not appear that this was just a random crime. Police say Went had worked at American Ironworks, where Savopoulos was CEO. And police are trying to determine if Went was working alone in the murders or if he had help. Well, raw tuna, commonly used in sushi, of course, has been linked to a cluster of recent salmonella cases. It has sickened 53 people in nine states, including California. Now, health officials say most of the cases are in our state, with at least nine cases reported in L.A. The State Department of Public Health still doesn't know the source of the tuna. It's working to trace food distributors and restaurants possibly linked to the salmonella patients.
Well, it could take as long as five years to fix all cars affected in the largest auto recall in U.S. history. About 34 million vehicles in the U.S. and 52 million worldwide are included in the recall of Takata airbags. The airbags could explode and send shrapnel into the vehicles. At least six deaths have been tied to that defect. So we wanted to know why will it take so long to fix the cars? Well, experts say it's going to take a long time to produce new airbags and finding all the affected vehicles could prove challenging and it will be a hard it will be hard for dealers to repair so many cars. A local restaurant is ranked 20th on Yelp's top 100 restaurants in the country for 2015. New at noon, good days. Melissa Cabral is at Buddha Thai Bistro in Vacaville checking out what's on the menu. Open less than a year, the Buddha Thai Bistro in Vacaville already making waves for their Thai food. Take a look. They have this proudly displayed number 20 of the top 100 Yelp places to eat in the country. Owner Andy, what did you think to get this kind of honor? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yeah, but yeah, we we are very, you know, we are proud of ourselves and we are very proud of Vacaville City, you know. We were proud to put our, the Vacaville City in the map of USA. Yes, of course. And when you look at the food, you can easily see why a lot of people raving about some of your specials. What do we have here? So we have volcano beef, mango tango, healthy bowl. And you said that there's a lot of other appetizers and all that. Does Absolutely. your mom inspire a lot of your recipes? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, she, she, she does, yes. She, she does a lot of uh, inspiration for me, you know, when, when I was younger, so, yeah. So let our viewers in. When is the secret? When is it not that busy? Because from what I understand, talking to the customers, they wait for quite some time to get a seat in here. Well, yeah, you you should come earlier before we open, uh, right after we open, like maybe half an hour before we open. Like we open 12 o'clock, come here about 1130. You know, we definitely get a seat. Wow, even before they open. Well, it's it's easy to see why it's made its place on the map. Thanks so much, Melissa. Really appreciate it. All right, new at noon, it looks like Grocery Outlet putting five pounds of Harris Ranch ground beef back on its shelves. Immediately, it removed the five pound ground beef after a customer complained, finding glass in the meat. You might remember we brought this to you. Tests actually show it was salt crystals, not glass. Still ahead, a local couple breeds and raises alpacas. A look at their newest baby alpacas and how you can get one. Paralyzed from the neck down, the new technology that's giving one man the ability to control robotic limbs with his mind. But first, there's some of the newest words in the Scrabble Dictionary, the slang terms that made the cut. Good afternoon, I'm Alexis Del Chiaro in for Laura Skirty, and boy, we've seen it all this morning, a mixture of clouds, rain, and a little bit of sunshine now. Coming up, we'll talk about what's in store for your Memorial Day weekend. Honey, why do we have more money than usual this month? I called Curtis. Consumer problem? No problem. Just ask us. Click cbs13.com slash call Curtis. Imagine that this is your energy bill. Then this is what it would look like after you turn to the experts for an efficient carrier home comfort system from Clark and Rush. Yes, save money every month. Call the smart energy people at Clark and Rush. Not leaving town for Memorial Day? Well, then celebrate in style at R.C. Willie's Memorial Day sale. Take advantage of store-wide savings, including TVs and electronics. This sharp 40-inch smart TV is only $349. You'll also save on name-brand appliances. Washers are as low as $299, and refrigerators are as low as $399. Plus, this outdoor chair is only $12 with purchase. Don't miss one of our biggest events of the year. R.C. Willie, your home, your way. Bug bites, itchy rash. Relief starts now. Gold Bond Rapid Relief. Two itch fighting medicines instantly relieve summer itches. Gold Bond. Try new Gold Bond Medicated Eczema Relief Cream to relieve the five frustrating symptoms of eczema. I had periodontal disease, had lost 10 to 12 teeth, a lot of pain, a lot of hiding, a lot of shame. I didn't do a lot of smiling. That was life before Clear Choice. At Clear Choice, we bring hope to millions who suffer from missing or failing teeth with dental implants that look, feel, and function like strong, natural teeth. Most people come into Clear Choice and say, you know, can you really do that all in one day? Well, yeah, absolutely. And give you lifelong results that you can be proud of. 
Our doctors use precise technology in a warm, welcoming environment to create your new, healthy smile. And I'm not afraid to smile anymore. And I have beautiful teeth. You're never too old to invest in yourself. This is your opportunity to make a difference in your life. Call today to schedule your free comprehensive consultation and ICAP 3D imaging scan. We'll even talk financing options while you're here. At Clear Choice, you're about to discover what you've been missing all these years. Call Clear Choice today. I'm a working mom with four kids and no time. I feel like a professional volunteer. This week, I'm Snack Mom. I serve the best steaks in town. And I shop. And I shop. And I shop. At the new Smart and Final. There's more club sizes here than the club store. Family size, team size. And restaurant quality, everything. It's fresh, delicious, and it costs so much less. All this and tonight's dinner, too? The new Smart and Final. Warehouse and market. Friend and neighbor. Us and you. Smart and Final. Imagine that this is your energy bill. And this is what it would look like. After you turn to the experts for an efficient carrier home comfort system from Clark and Rush. Yes, save money every month. Call the smart energy people at Clark and Rush. Spa at Lannis in Reno. Call 800-723-6500 or book online. Welcome back. Scrabble Dictionary has added lots of new words for its players, and some are so ridic, they make you lols. <laughs> you like what I did there? Well, more than 6,000 new words have been added to the Collins official Scrabble Words Dictionary. Many of, the, many of them, of course, slang words like twerking, emoji, and ridic, which is short for ridiculous. But some of the game's purists aren't too thrilled, saying that the added words are an abuse of the English language. Okay, so some of the other slang words added, lols, that'll get you 13 points. Dench, which means excellent, is worth 11 points. And cash, short for casual, equals 18 points. But if you really want to score some points, you might want to schwitz, which means to sweat. So. If you schwitz, you get 24 points. All right, researchers are calling a new neural implant for paralyzed patients promising. A quadru uh, quadriplegic was able to use his mind to control a robotic arm and make very natural movements. CBS 13's Chelsea Edwards spoke with the first patient in the world to test the new technology. Okay. Eric Sordo never imagined that he'd be able to do this again. <laughs> Or this. I wanted to jump around and high five and hug everybody because we knew that it worked. Paralyzed from the neck down after being shot 13 years ago, Sordo can now think about a movement in his mind and then make it happen effortlessly. <laughs> Neurosurgeon Dr. Charles Liu performed brain surgery on Sordo two years ago at Keck Hospital of USC. He implanted a pair of electrodes in the region of the brain where the initial intent to make a movement is formed. Since it had never been done before, there was a bit of a leap of faith in terms of, uh, of uh, just seeing if these were in fact the right areas. Two chips in Sordo's brain are connected to wires and a series of computers which decode his intentions and move the prosthetic arm. Until now, technologies have only produced jerky, delayed movements, but scientists say this new approach makes them much more natural. You don't really think about moving the muscles or the joints. You really think about, I want to get pick up that glass of water. Sordo is the first in the world to have this new neural prosthetic device. The 34-year-old was even able to pick up and drink a beer on his own. <laughs> All right. If I want to be able to brush my own teeth, yeah, so that would be, that's the next goal in. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Now, two other patients have joined the clinical trial, which is a collaboration between Caltech, uh, Keck Medicine of USC, and Rancho Los Amigos National Rehabilitation Center. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our weather right now. Well, pleasant to see that we're getting some showers still in the mountains. Yeah, you know what? We've got a little bit of rain today. It's kind of been a mixed bag, and we'll, mm. we'll take you outside and show you why. A lot of cloud cover, some moisture in some spots, and a little bit of rain. Here's Bald Mountain right now. You can see very cloudy in the mountains today and yeah there's going to be uh, more rain coming our way for our friends in the foothills and in the mountains and in Sacramento this is what we're dealing with we saw the heavy cloud cover earlier today now you're just seeing a few clouds but we still are working with a chance for some showers let's talk about your currents right now it's a pleasant afternoon already up to 69 in most spots except for a Modesto is at 68 degrees and we'll show you that the humidity is at 61 percent right now so you can still see that there's some 
moisture in the atmosphere. Winds are variable at six miles per hour. The reason for all of this is because we're dealing with this low pressure system that's basically anchored off the coast of California. And it's bringing us uh, some rain and we'll show you who's getting wet right now. We're seeing lightning in Nevada right now, but none in California. We're seeing a line of thunderstorms moving in, kind of paralleling the I-5, so Red Bluff, Chico, and into Yuba City could be getting some more showers. And we're also seeing some rain into the foothills in the high country right now. If you're going to Tahoe for the long holiday weekend, make sure you pack your umbrella. Here's a look at your currents right now, getting up to the 70s in most spots. We're going to top out at about 75 degrees. Winds are going to be gusting later this afternoon up to as much as 20 miles an hour into the valley. But I want to show you your future cast because watch what happens later in the afternoon. We still have another shot for some rain. This is especially important in the foothills and into the mountains. Looks like uh, it's going to skirt us here in the valley. But you might see a drop or two if the system kind of moves around to the west and gives us a little bit of that action. In the meantime, here's what we're working with for our highs today. Going to be in the mid to upper 70s in most spots. Expect to see partly sunny skies, but it will be gusty at times this afternoon. Uh, 67 the high for Grass Valley and 65 in Georgetown. And once again, if you're planning to go into the mountains for the long weekend, just be extra careful when you're driving over the passes. We got some reports of uh, fog, heavy dense fog earlier this morning. Bay Area friends, this is what you're dealing with for today. It's going to be a pretty nice day after the uh, clouds get out of the way. 59 degrees the high for San Francisco with the gusting conditions. 79 degrees is your high for tomorrow. Partly sunny skies. And then guess what? We see the 80s. Gradual warming a trend headed our way, which Audrey is going to be perfection if you have outdoor plans for Memorial Day on Monday. Ah, looks so good. Alexis, thanks so much. Okay, a local couple is raising and breeding alpacas. They are veterinarians who treat alpacas exclusively. New at noon, good days. Now, Wynn is in Granite Bay on their five acre ranch finding what makes alpacas such great animals. Hi, we are here at Granite Bay Alpacas to take a look at the new baby alpacas here with the friend family. Now, there are actually two doctors in this family, so as not to confuse anybody, this is Dr. Michelle. And tell us a little bit about how this all started. Well, I started working on alpacas in 97, um, a year after I graduated. I had planned on working with horses, and after getting kicked pretty bad by a racehorse, I decided I'm going to work with a smaller species. And you guys just had three new baby alpacas born in the last week. What is that like? And we we're saying, you know, they actually make quite good animals. They're so soft and you actually do other things with the fleece, right? Yes. Yes, we do. We, we love the babies. I don't think I would do it if we didn't have the babies. And then, you know, we show the fleas, uh, some of the fleece we have processed and we make things with the fleece. So it's really fun. And then we go to actual Ooh. shows where we show the alpaca with the fleece on the alpaca. And we, like I said, we have two doctors in the family. We actually have Sevier, who's a doctor with U.S. Health Works. You, how does it feel to kind of transition from humans to, to animals here? And what would you say to encourage people to come check alpacas out? If you love animals, you definitely have to come out and see the farm and get involved because it really is a blessing to work with these special creatures. So if you are interested, how can they contact you, set up an appointment to come check these little animals out? Well, they can go to our website, which is granitebayalpacas.com, and uh, send us an email or give us a phone call, and we'd be happy to show them. Perfect. So if you miss any of those details, you can find that information on our website. Hey, that sounds good, Nat. Thanks so much. Love their hairstyles. Yeah. All right. She's never too far away from her mama. Meet a new playful addition to a California zoo. And here's a look at what's coming up on CBS 13. The talk is at 1 o'clock, followed by the doctors at 2. Dr. Phil is at 3. And don't forget to watch your only local news at 4. But first, here's Jill Schlesinger with today's Sacramento Job Market Report. The roots of Memorial Day go back to the aftermath of the Civil War. It has since been expanded to honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. It's also an opportunity to consider those veterans who are trying to transition into a civilian life. About one out of two post 9-11 veterans will face a period of unemployment as they seek new jobs outside of the military. GIJobs.com identified the hottest jobs this year for veterans. They surveyed nearly 200 military-friendly employers who invest time, money, and personnel to build military recruiting and retention programs. Among these companies, the hottest jobs for veterans are IT specialists, operation managers, and logisticians. Logisticians oversee how products are acquired, distributed, allocated, and delivered. Logisticians here in the Sacramento area earn a median wage of $78,600. 
military experience is prized in the field of logistics because, as GI Jobs says, who has more experience moving stuff than the military? I'm Jill Schlesinger for CBS 13 News. The Sacramento Job Market Report is sponsored by University of Phoenix. Let's get to work. Rushing to work all those years. From time in the service, to different jobs, to community college. All that hard work, it matters. It's why we count relevant work and college experience towards your degree. Learn more at phoenix.edu. University of Phoenix invites you to visit letsgettoworksacramento.com. We had such a great experience with Empire, we would recommend it to anyone. Real customers share their stories about Empire today. The customer service and the personal touch was really where it's at. And during Empire's 50-50-50 sale, get 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. We've had people come in our home and say, wow, this is really beautiful. Where'd you have it done? Empire. <laughs> 800-588-2300 Empire Today It's your last chance to save during the Toyota Time Memorial Day sales event. Hurry, it all ends Tuesday. Don't miss 0% APR for 60 months plus $2,000 bonus cash now on a new Prius. Toyota, let's go places. Who counts on Medi-Cal? Medi-Cal is me. Most Medi-Cal patients are children. Medi-Cal is me. But California chronically underfunds Medi-Cal. Medi-Cal is me. Many on Medi-Cal can't even find a health provider who will take them. Medi-Cal is me. Giving every child preventative health care helps them grow up, do better in school, and reach their dreams. Medi-Cal is me. Tell your legislator to fully fund Medi-Cal for kids. Take action at MediCalMatters.org. This Memorial Day, we pay the sales tax on all patio furniture at Amy's Outdoor Living. Every day you think about what a diploma in nursing could do for you. So stop thinking and start doing. Kaplan College could be where you begin your program in nursing, whether you're just starting out or already in a medical career. You want hands-on training, and we have real medical labs. You want quality instruction, and we offer limited class sizes taught by instructors with real-world experience. Your new future with a diploma in nursing could start today. Call 800-617-0600 for your free career compass guide. Kaplan College, your career compass. More winners, more jackpots, more often. Is it any wonder Red Hawk Casino is Northern California's favorite place to play? More big blackjack winners, more big slot winners, more video poker winners, more penny slot winners. Every day in every way, more people are winning big at Red Hawk Casino. Yes, it's an easy drive on Highway 50 to more winners, more jackpots, more often. Red Hawk Casino. Nobody does it better. Voted Best Casino. Red Hawk Casino. Nobody does it better. Welcome back. Looking ahead to the CBS 13 News at 5. Convicted of manslaughter, then pardoned by Governor Schwarzenegger. The family of his victim says his political ties got him off the hook. What the family is doing to put him back in prison. Plus, a local fire district says they need more money and the rural fire tax that locals are paying don't help. Where that money actually goes, that's tonight at 5, following the CBS 13 News at 4. And finally, at noon, the San Diego Zoo debuted one of its newest additions, an eight-week-old hippopotamus. Here she is. This is Debbie. Aww. <laughs> the zoo released this video of her. Debbie loves to swim and play with her mom while interacting with zoo visitors. Look at her. Wherever Debbie goes, her mom, Funani, is only a few feet away. Mom and baby can be seen four days a week at the San Diego Zoo. They share their exhibit with Debbie's dad, and his name is Otis. Oh, that is too <laughs> cute. I love that. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of people getting ready for the weekend. Mm -hmm. Their holiday weekend looks pretty nice. It's going to be great here in the Valley. After today, we'll see the cloud cover move on out, and it'll be sunny, and we'll see a warming trend 80 degrees by Monday wow. for Memorial Day. If you're going to the mountains or the foothills, pack an umbrella. Chance for showers and thunderstorms continues today and over the weekend. All right, perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us this noon. We'll see you back here again at 4 o'clock. Have a good one. Yesterday afternoon, two adult lions killed several people in Los Angeles. Predators kill for food. But these people, they were just murdered.
Something's not right here. Animal behavior is now changing. There's a big difference between retirement and a secure retirement. Well, you may be standing right in front of the difference between uncertainty and knowing that everything's going to be all right. It's your home. Turning your home's equity into tax-free cash when you need it is a simple way to eliminate your existing monthly mortgage payments, pay off debt, and get you and your family the financial resources you need. It's a loan that your home pays back instead of you making monthly payments, the way you do with a traditional mortgage. If you're 62 or older and own your own home, you may qualify for a government-insured reverse mortgage. Now, we all love our homes. Why not just stay there using a reverse mortgage with AAG? It could be the perfect solution. Call us today to receive a free information pack with no obligation that contains a helpful three-part guide and DVD. You'll receive a guide to reverse mortgages and how they work, including the many consumer safeguards that protect you and your home. Also, our important all-new reverse mortgage retirement planner that explains the many ways a reverse mortgage could provide stability and security for your retirement. We then add a guide filled with information for children and loved ones. It's got what you need to know about reverse mortgages and how they can play a vital role in your retirement plans. Call 1-800-820-6158 to receive our all-new information pack, all absolutely free with no obligation. Call 1-800-820-6158. That's 1-800-820-6158. Real retirement security makes all the difference. Find out more about what a reverse mortgage can do for you. Call 1-800-820-6158 to receive our all-new information pack, all absolutely free with no obligation. Call 1-800-820-6158. That's 1-800-820-6158. AAG, the best advice for a better life. The 2015 F-150s are here at Future Ford of Sacramento and Roseville. Take a test drive today. Guess I'm a lot faster than a speeding bullet. Impossible's just another Tuesday for us. New Country 105.1 KNCI Sacramento's number one country New Country 105.1 KNCI Academy Award winner Halle Berry returns in extant to CBS this summer I still can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I didn't want you to worry. Well, of course I'm gonna be worried. You got hit by a car. Yes, I did, and and it was really scary. But my moms were taking such good care of me, and I knew that you would freak out and you would jump on the next plane. Yes, I told you I would come and play doctor. <laughs> and as much as I really, really did want you there, I just you're under so much stress, and I I didn't want to add to it. How long are you going to be in this thing? I don't know. Who knew that walking could be so hard? I'm so glad you're home. Uh, because I have a favor I want to repay. Favor? You help me use my hands, and I'm going to help you use your legs. How are you feeling? Physically, I'm fine. Emotionally? What are you doing home so early? I have a son to check out. You don't have to worry. Can't get in too much trouble. Mom insisted I stay in bed. I spoke to Ridge. He told you that I attacked him? Charlie, no, no, why won't you just tell me what is going on? I'm fine, I'm fine. You've been acting so strange. Come on, please. I called it, remember? I called it. Oh, I knew it. So this is about Maya. I told you she was born a man, but you wouldn't believe me. on the Asif Bay. I understand Pig Latin, Pam. And when exactly was Maya a man when she was like eight or nine? Now, we're, we're sorry, Carter. 
But actually, we don't really know how to answer that question. But you know better, because, you know, you used yeah, to be... I'm well aware of what we used to be. And what do you mean you called it? Simple detective work, Mon Amiga. I mean, you know you're talking to a trained professional. Admiring your work? Oh, you don't have to hide what you were looking at. I saw. And yeah, I know what you did. So, uh, the Carter. Was it you? Was it me what? Somebody played canary to the press. Someone with uh, inside knowledge of Maya's situation. Maya told me later, yeah, but it's personal information. It wasn't mine to tell. At least the people I told were trustworthy. Her sister, however. It was Nicole that told on Maya? She's been spending time with Wyatt. That's how Spencer found out. So Nicole told Wyatt, ergo, now the world knows. I should uh, explain. Your actions already did. Look, it's not what you... You didn't sell my sister out? You didn't betray my trust? I thought you liked me. Obviously not. Now I see what happens when we're apart. Yes, Rich told me you came after him. Is that true? He deserved it. I'd just been in a car accident. The woman I want to spend my life with left me. I didn't need Ridge up here, being smug, laughing in my face. I couldn't take it anymore. In fact, Dad, I won't take it anymore. I'm not going to listen to another condescending remark from that man. I never really gave much thought to the acidity in any food. Never thought about the coffee I was drinking having acid. It never dawned on me that it could hurt your teeth. He told me to use Pronamel. It's going to help protect.